totally at a loss for ideas in this room because it does have to be a multi-function room and it is not a big room. So we just, we don't know where to go with it. Yeah, for some reason we kind of neglected the back office room. With the baby coming, we don't have time to work on this room now yeah. and, it, and the time is ticking. We are- The ball's gonna of... drop. Yeah. <laughs> to turn this room into a warm and inviting space that can serve as an office and a guest room, we'll start by creating a bed that turns into a work of art when not in use. And we're building a workspace that's a desk by day and a fireplace by night. Never would have thought of that one, no. would you? Plus, we'll prove that storage can be stylish when we construct two high-end shelving towers that cleverly disguise practical but ugly metal filing cabinets. <laughs> We bought the house about a year ago, and uh, we really haven't done too much. When we moved in, we painted a bunch of the rooms, but we just kind of like left our back room because we just ran out of steam. We lost our one guest room, so uh, because we were making that into the nursery. The nursery's easy. I mean, you have a crib, you have a changing table, but we had no idea what to do right. with this room because it has to have so many different functions. I would love to see this room become a guest room. I'd like to have still my office. I think our style is kind of classic. The house is an English tutor, so it would be nice to keep the keep the room kind of in that in that line. So tell me a little bit about this room, because right now it seems like it's somewhat of a catch-all. Um, this is kind of all of JD's stuff from his bachelor days that okay. has just kind of ended up here. So you have your computer, you have a coffee table? Coffee table. Okay, side table, chair. Uh, yeah, the ex-girlfriend's chair. Oh, <laughs> maybe we have to do yeah. something about the chair then, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. It'd be, it'd be great if we could actually just have like, you know, a room where our family could come and visit and stay. But we still need a desk area because yeah. you right. do pay bills, do work, whatever. And the thing about me, I like to stand at a computer. Mm -hmm. I like to stand up and, and work on the system okay. and come in and stand and do what I'm going right. to do. Right. So we have to figure out how we can make this space completely useful, very functional for you guys because really it's not the biggest room in the world. As an office, this room isn't very work friendly. So what we're going to do is custom build a taller desk that's more comfortable for JD and bring in much needed storage. So you want a desk slash guest room within the space. So if we were to bring a bed in here, let's think about the space. If we were to bring a bed in here, it would come all the way to here. Right. Oh yeah. You wouldn't have a whole lot of room for anything else. No. They also need it to serve as a guest bedroom, and a Murphy bed is the perfect solution. That way they can tuck it away when it's not in use. What about the color on the walls? Mm. Boring. Yeah. Boring. Yeah. This room could be like, Happier. Yeah. <laughs> Lighter. You want to see it happier. Yeah. Relaxing. And peaceful. right now you're not getting it. Right now the room feels a little drab, so we'll paint it a warmer color. That way it feels more like the rest of the house. <laughs> well, why don't we do this? Why don't we start clearing out this room right. and sure. we could probably start with this thing right here. Yeah, definitely. That can go right to the dumpster. That chair is going right to the dumpster. <laughs> we get the space cleared out, making sure the ex-girlfriend's chair is history. Then carpenter Jake Scott and I unload a Murphy bed he picked up while Ginny gets it's a fresh coat of paint on the walls. This new wall color is not too different from the old wall color. They're both a family of beige tones, but notice how the old beige has a little bit of red in it. And I want to change that up with the new beige, more appropriate for a home study. Now we have uh, used Murphy bed, which is fantastic because we have all the components to it, so it's gonna make our life a whole lot easier. We just have to make sure that this works with the rest of the room. Jake's getting all the other stuff, which makes my life that much easier. Ginny and Janice are building an oversized tufted headboard that'll sit over the Murphy bed when it's open. I'm gonna tuft it in a grid pattern. Okay. And before I do that, I have to lay out the grid. But while I'm doing that, I'm gonna have you doing, you know how when you, when you tuft, the buttons match the fabric? Right. I'm gonna have you make your own buttons. Oh, covered buttons. Yes, and is that something you know? Have you done before? I have done that. <laughs> <laughs> have you used this kit? Um, yeah, okay. I have. Perfect. For the headboard, it's hard to find a piece of fabric that's that same width. Right. So we're gonna be using a sheet set. Oh, cool. Yeah. And this thing actually comes with 
sham. So I think we should use oh, the shams to okay. make the buttons make the and button use the actual it. sheet to cover it. Okay. <laughs> to learn how to do this project in your own home, log on to hgtv.com slash carter. So now we're just removing the existing trim on the Murphy bed. We're going to replace it with trim that also matches what's going on on the desk area. What we're doing here is we're building a desk. Yeah. And you had a couple specifics in mind for your desk. You yeah. Know what they were? Like to be able to stand. Like to be able to stand. Yeah. My like friend, get the gonna, thoughts flowing. We're gonna give you that, so you can give your get your thoughts flowing a little bit. Awesome. So awesome. these are the two side columns. We're gonna put a top on it, and what's gonna happen is it's going to also double as a faux fireplace. Really? Yes. Cool. Cool. Never would have thought of that one, no. would you? That's awesome. Well, you guys need a lot of things out of this room, right? Oh yeah. You need your office. Yes. You, and that's what you're probably going to use it for the most, right? Yeah. All right. And then you're also going to need it for a place where people can come and that stay. Right. So what better than putting a faux fireplace in? That is an awesome idea. When the space is being used as a guest room, the faux fireplace will give it a warm and inviting feel. All right. So now the structure's done. So the next step is the detail. We'll add some molding or some trim right on the face from end to end, and then as well as on the column. So it really looks like a detailed desk, but also a fireplace mantle when it's not in use. Cool. Coming up, Janice and I take plain metal filing cabinets to a whole new level when we build stylish towers that will disguise them and add even more storage. But unfortunately, Ginny isn't happy with the initial results. <laughs> I've never seen you whine before. So we come up with an inexpensive and simple fix that makes these cold metal cabinets completely disappear. And later, the Murphy bed will look great when it's open, but what about when it's closed? Ginny comes up with a creative solution to give the bottom of the bed a purpose using paint and wood molding. We love the house because it has character, but it's it's an old house, so there's a lot for us to do with it. For some reason, we kind of neglected the back office room because it was back, it was just in the back of the house. So we want to make this a guest room for our family when our baby comes. We were thinking maybe um, we could have either a pull-out bed or a day bed. It needs to fit two people. It could be a Murphy, a Murphy bed. bed. Now, multifunction is the key to this room because it has to be a guest bedroom, it has to be a den, and it has to be a room where people can hang out. Well, this Murphy bed is going to help us a ton. Earlier, Jake cleaned up all the components for the bed. Now, we're just getting it locked in place. There you go. Good? Shabam. Shabow. Fantastic. That's okay. So now, let's get our other side in, and then we can take our, we can get our header in. Earlier, Ginny and Janice worked on a tufted headboard that will sit above the Murphy bed when it's down. With the padding and fabric in place, they can start working on the tufting. I'm gonna go under, okay. and then I'll push the needle up. Okay. And what I need you to do is put the needle through the button okay. and then push it back down. Okay. The so going back good. down is a little bit more difficult because okay. you don't see the hole, the hole, but. Okay. JD and I already made a bar height desk that will double as a fireplace mantle when the space is pulling guest room duty. Now, Janice and I are building storage towers to go on either side. So what we're gonna do with this cabinet is make it look like it's a little bit bigger and beefier than it really is. Okay. So we're gonna use an outside wall and an interior wall, and we're gonna use about a three inch spacing in between. So that's gonna make it look, instead of just yeah. making two walls and shelves, okay. we're gonna give it a lot of, a lot nice of more and solid. depth. Yep. To find out more information on this project, log on to hgtv.com slash carter. So now we have our two substantial sides to the shelving system, which is fantastic because now we can add some, uh, some molding on the sides okay. or some trim work 
um, but with a whole lot of detail to go with the traditional okay. theme that we're going for in the room. We'll add our top on, and then we'll put our shelves on, and we'll be really close to staining this up. Whoa, this is looking so much better. Already, right? Yeah. So we're gonna still run the crown mm -hmm. around the top of this, and yeah. that way it matches with what else is going around in the rest of the room, huh? Yeah, exactly. I'm just building it out right now so that there's a little bit of detail in between the fluted molding and the crown. Great. Nice work, work, buddy. This looks 10 times better already. When the Murphy bed's up, I wanted the bottom of it to be more than just the bottom of the bed. So I'm creating a painting to hang on that, uh, on that wooden piece, which gives it more of a function, kind of like an art wall. Now I use some of the colors of the room, like the wall colors in here. So uh, it really helps tie this painting to the rest of the space. Oh my gosh. What do you think, Choi? Wow. Pretty good, huh? Awesome. Yeah, it, what's good about it is that there's a lot of components here, but it doesn't take up that too much space right now. Yeah. Do you guys want to dry fit those cabinets in and see how they look? Yeah, let's dry fit the cap. Yeah, let's do that. You know, this is metal, and this is wood. Can we skin the front of this with something that makes it a match a little bit better? Better than in this right now. We could. I think it looks pretty dang good as it is, though. Yeah, it'll be better. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen you whine before. <laughs> no, we could do it. We could do it. All right, so we'll skim the face of these uh, metal filing cabinets. That way, that matches, so everything looks like it's one huge piece, yes. right? That would be perfection. To learn more about this project, log on to hgtv.com/carter. Coming up, I use an eco-friendly flooring to give JD's desk a work surface that looks like marble. Plus, Ginny builds a bench for the room and finishes it off with an elegant look that cost her less than a dollar to complete. JD and Janice want this room to be a comfortable spot when family comes to stay, as well as a functioning office. Will the Murphy bed be the right solution for this dual use space? guest room is going to become the nursery so really have to have like a room that family can come and stay in be comfortable right. but it's also a room that I work in and I don't want it to be a room that is just a guest room that people can stay in I want it also to still be still preserve a little bit of my office that I can go in there and I can stand which I do stand when I'm at a computer and work with the baby coming we don't have time we don't have effort yeah to work on this room now yeah. and, it, and the time is ticking and really? uh, we are- The ball's gonna drop. Yeah. <laughs> to transform this space into an office and a guest room, we've installed a Murphy bed and created a new workspace for JD. I've sent the couple on their way while my team and I finish up. So for the desktop, we're gonna use this natural linoleum. I cut it out, it's basically made out of a linseed. It's antibacterial, antimicrobial. Um, it comes in various patterns and colors, but I thought this one works best for the room. It's usually used for flooring, but here, I think it works perfect for the desktop. So right now I'm just spreading out the adhesive that I'm gonna to use to adhere the countertop onto my desk, the structure. Now usually what you wanna do when you put this adhesive on, because it is a flooring, it would work in you know four by four foot squares. But right now I think I should be able to cover the entire desktop with the adhesive and lay it on. Hopefully it sticks. To learn more about eco-friendly projects like this, log on to hgtv.com slash carter. Earlier, Ginny painted a picture that we're hanging on the bottom of the Murphy bed to dress it up when the bed's not being used. Like that? Yeah, remember that molding will go up to here, oh, so it right. will just, do you want it to match? Do you want it to be significantly lower? 
It should be. It should either match or be a yeah. lot lower. Yeah. Because right there, it's yeah. gonna look like it's just. Yeah. Probably go down a little bit. Yeah, like this. we gotta do is just touch up some paint around there mm -hmm. and we're good. Yeah, we're in business. It. This thing looks a lot better. <laughs> All right. We really wanted to bring in an upholstered bench into the space. So when it's a guest room, it could be at the foot of the bed. And when it's an office, it could be extra seating for the room. We wanted to add a little bit of an extra detail so I bought these nail heads at a home improvement store. They were so inexpensive, 25 to 97 cents. This looks great. Um, it really fills this area in, uh, completes it. Now once we get the bed in here and all the bedding, Yes, it'll complete this whole classic traditional guest room arrangement. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it works. Woo. Just fold up like this. Look at that. These right. actually close, Lock latch it. it. What bed? <laughs> what it's bed? Be, what I don't bed? see any bed this here. Bed. This mattress is so sweet. It still amazes me how eco-friendly this thing is because not only the way it's made, but the way they ship it too, you know? Because obviously they're able to ship so many of them together because it comes so small. But once we pierce it open, watch out. Standard size, full size mattress. For more information on Going Green, log on to hgtv.com slash carter. All the big stuff's done, and I have a lot of accessories, so I need your help. You got it. All right, let's start loading in. Coming up, Janice and JD need this room to be a stylish guest room and a home office. The room is the one that we ran out of gas on. So I want it to be a room that it feels comforting for people and that I feel, feel proud to have them be in. Will our Murphy bed and custom desk give them the right balance of style and function they're hoping for? It looks nothing Not like good. our house. <laughs> We bought the house about a year ago. And then all of a sudden, now the baby, so we have to think about the nursery. And so we have to redo the guest room that we did do. We're, we're totally at a loss for ideas in this room because it does have to be a multi-function room, and it is not a big room. So we just, we don't know where to go with it. Yeah. You guys excited to see the space? Yes, yes. we are. So excited. Are you expecting anything in there? I don't know. I don't know what we to only expect, saw a couple yeah. things. Cool. Well, I'm surprised. wait, you're gonna be really surprised when you see this. Oh my! <sighs> oh my gosh! Wow! <sighs> wow! This is amazing. Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow! Oh my. This room never really had a purpose. It was an uncomfortable workspace combined with a hodgepodge of old furniture. Now it's an office and guest room filled with custom pieces that are multi-purpose in every sense of the word. It's That's gorgeous. Awesome. It's gorgeous. The bed is just amazing. I mean, check this out. And I love that it look doesn't look like a fold-out bed. It's it's a bed. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That, what do you think? That headboard he yeah. made, fantastic. The headboard's I awesome. Need that. I'm going to be pulling that bed up and down and playing with it. <laughs> Although I may be sleeping in it from time to time, so. <laughs> yeah, this is true. You could do that, all right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the cool thing, that Murphy bed, we were able to get one that, um, you know, it was it had been used before, uh, but we were able to refurbish it, put new moldings on it, put a new color on it, a new tone. So when it is tucked away, it's 
really tucked away. Yeah. Look at the top. Look at I the know. cover. See, now, I know. You, what you this. guys really wanted was a room, was a guest bedroom, and we wanted to make sure it was a traditional space. Yeah. So you have a mantle up top, you have a faux fireplace down here, yeah. and you have basically a traditional area when this is, you know, a bedroom setting. Right. I see oh, the wow. bench. The bench is awesome. That is so great. Ginny made that. Oh, I wow. posted that and everything. That's and nice. She, she got made the, legs. the bench? Yep. The bench? Mm -hmm. Really? Oh she my put those gosh. little pins all the way around it. Wow. That's a lot of love. Yeah, that is a lot of love. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels so warm and inviting. Yeah. Uh -huh. We have our first guest next week, so. So it's going to really work exciting. for your first guest. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time, you guys don't always have guests here, right? Right. Most right. of the time, this space is supposed to be it's uh, for us. It's for you. Yeah. It's yeah. an office. It's a place to hang out. Well, I think we should showcase that room right now. What do you think about your wow. office? You would wow. not even know that this had just been a bedroom. Right? You wouldn't even know there was a bed in there. Yeah. Pretty cool. It looks like a beautiful, like a wardrobe uh -huh. yeah. and a beautiful piece of furniture. Yeah. I, love I, the, love, I love the painting on I it. I know, I love the painting on it. There's your desk, and you get to stand and Go work, ahead, or you can you sit. Right stand and work. Here. That's what You can stand or sit. Yeah, I can stand here and just sit, or I can just sit here and. What do you think? This is, uh, this this is great. great. This is phenomenal. Beforehand, I'd be sitting here in the rickety chair, and actually that chair was falling apart. There was like two screws in it. Right. And it, it just made it kind of hard to sit down, and yeah. you, you didn't feel inspired. This makes me feel inspired. These. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> that's all. The wood. That's beautiful. That's like it's perfect gorgeous. storage. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Perfect beautiful storage. storage. That's right. all the way back here as well. Yeah. That yeah. is so great. That's ingenious. I like how it feels when it's an office. It feels masculine. Mm -hmm. And when you bring the bed down, it's soft enough. Right. And with the yellows and the tufted headboard, it feels more feminine as a guest room. We made sure that we hit everything. Yeah. And it was truly this little guy <laughs> made all this happen, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> For me, it's going gonna, it's gonna to change a lot of things because I'm going to be really happy to have people over and proud to have them stay in this room. This was like one of the last biggest hurdles and we had a hard time getting over that hurdle. And now, with the help of Carter, it's there, it's beautiful.